Are you a womb twin survivor? Is this the reason for your guilt or your rescuing behaviour? Devaraj Sandberg, 2022. I recall around a decade ago being shocked and saddened at the death of Althea Hayton. I had attended a workshop of hers not long before, and she had not seemed to me to be in poor health. For me, Althea was one of those incredible souls who have tireless energy for one topic or issue, and who dedicate their lives to spreading awareness about it. I was one of the people she reached. The topic was that of being a womb twin survivor. This is a very shadowy area of psychology with little written or generally accepted about it. Nevertheless, once heard about, it resonates deeply with many people seeking to understand the forces that have shaped their personalities. Whether there is truth to the concept or whether it simply feels true, I do not know. The basic idea is that perhaps up to 20% of pregnancies begin with not one, but two fetuses. Yet the womb of the mother cannot support both, and so one dies and is reabsorbed by the body, whilst the other survives and is born. The life of this womb twin survivor, however, is still marked at a deep level by certain psychological traits. Those traits typically include the following. A deep sense of having lost someone incredibly dear to them, but without apparent actual precedent. An underlying sense of almost unfathomable guilt of being the one who survived through the death of another. A compulsion to try to rescue someone in crisis or to reverse a perceived sense of decline in another. I spent about a year getting deeply involved with the notion of womb twin survivors because the whole idea just spoke to me so deeply on a personal level. I could remember when young being always moved to tears by the words of an old Bob Dylan song. I still believe she was my twin from Simple Twist of Fate and could not for the life of me fathom why this might be. Althea helped me put two and two together. I still don't know if I was a womb twin survivor or if the feelings I found deep inside were the result of other early life traumas, or from some other source entirely. And of course, there is little way to either corroborate or disprove such an idea. But in many ways, this does not matter. Having a concept to place certain complex feelings into is very helpful, for it allows us to explore them more deeply and to release some of what is held inside. So thank you, Althea, for dedicating much of your life to spreading knowledge of this notion.